Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mr. Fizz here, back with a video. I just wanna let you guys know this video is sponsored, which is awesome. Uh, we're sponsored by North Tech and Trinity Force. So today we're gonna to be doing a review of the, uh, this is the Trinity Force model, but it's sold on North Tech now, but this is the Trinity Force one by four by 28 millimeter optic. So downrange, we got some of the uh, T-Rex Arms training targets that we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna use for our drills today. So behind me, behind the camera, I got my buddy Nate. He's recording today, so I appreciate it. Big shout out to him. Thank you for recording. Uh, but I'm using uh, my Delton AR-15. Um, I bought this bone stock. Um, I've got some extra parts on it. And here pretty soon, um, I'm gonna be having some upgrades that I'll be showing you guys uh, here in the next week or two. That was on a zone it would still be a zone so that one's good that's what i really like about this optic that one by four really nice especially at 10 yards that optic or the, the target looks just like it does here those reticles are super nice super clear super crisp clean look so i'm happy with those shots same with over there um, i'm happy with those minus that one that was way down here but uh no if you guys are looking for a good scope this is uh and cheap this is uh it markets for 130 which is not bad I think 130, if not, check the card up or check. I'll have it posted right here on the screen. Um, it's a really good scope though. I've had it for a little over a year and I'm uh, very happy with it. All right, guys, here's the in-depth review of the Trinity Force Assault 1x4 28mm optic. So as you saw earlier in the video, we saw you saw us run some drills with this. Um, we are very happy with this. I am personally very happy with this. I've had this for a little over a year and a half now. Um, and his, the only reason it has ever come off is to put on my Camden irons. And even then it went right back on. The one thing you'll notice that is on here that wasn't on earlier in the video was this bad boy. Now this is the red dot that came with it. However, I don't like it. I think there's a gimmick and I think that it's something that should not have been put on here. However, for the price of this setup, it's kind of nice to have because you can take this Picatinny mount brace, whatever you want to call it off via the two screws up here. So these two screws right here, you can pull out and then you can put that on a pistol. Um, you could put it on anything you have that honestly you'd want to do. If you want a red dot on a shotgun, you could put that on a shotgun. You could do whatever you want. I think what I might do with it is I might get a 45 degree Picatinny rail to put up here and have it uh, co-line with my irons. That way I have backup irons, but also a red dot if I wanted to run a canted red dot, which I still am kind of debating on doing. However, I threw it on for this portion of the video so you guys can see what it actually came with when I did buy it. So it does have end caps that are spring loaded. So just flip them open and they flop all the way around. And uh, those are super nice. I've I've always kept them on. Um, I very rarely take them off unless I'm at the range and it's a pretty nice day and I'm not worried about the lenses getting scratched. These turrets here, I have not had a single issue with these things coming undone, turning anything and affecting the zero on my optic. 
the mounting bolts for the Picatinny rail here have never come undone. They have a hole on the top of the nut. I think you can, yep, yeah, right there. Where literally all I do is I take a, probably like an eighth inch Allen wrench, I throw it in there and I use it as like a wrench and I tighten that thing down. Now I do know that they do have sport, uh, sport specs for these. However, I don't know what they are and so I just reef it down until I feel like it's good enough and I haven't had a single issue with them with me just reefing it down. The clarity of the glass inside the optic is phenomenal. I really, really, really like it. It's very easy to get on, get on site, get on target very fast. Um, you saw some of those uh, one reload one drills that we ran in the earlier of the video to show how fast you can get on target with this site. There was one section of video in there where I did run my canted irons just because I wanted to, I just wanted to, just to see how well I could get the site picture. Um, but mainly, I did run this optic. And you did see my buddy also running this optic too. He, I let him borrow my AR and he ran a couple drills with it just so we could kind of get two different uh, ideas of how people would run this optic. I really would recommend this for hunting. Like I said, that sight picture is so clean and crisp. The it, It's just, it's super amazing. The eye relief is, uh, I believe, 5.5 inches, which is awesome. With these cheaper scopes, you always have a hard time finding ones that have a pretty decent eye relief. And with this one having a 5.5 inch eye relief, that is very, very good in my opinion. Um, some of these cheap optics, they're just not very good when it comes to that. And so I am very pleased with this. Um, and these are these are removable. Um, let me pull this one off for you. And this one actually on the back here, it has a section on here. This does adjust to help with clarity. So if it's a little blurry, you can adjust it depending on what focal length you're at. And like I said, these do just slide on and off super easy, but also they are on there. It's not gonna tour you're not gonna, they're not just gonna fall off when you're at the range and you're gonna worry about losing them. So the thing that I really like about these as well is there is a ton of adjustability. So each, each of these for the elevation and the windage are 35 MOA, which is really good. It gives, like I said, it gives a lot of variability for where you want to sight your optic in. Um, and like I said, I, when I got this sighted in, I sighted it for 25 yards, just because that's all I had at the time. I was in an indoor range. I may go up to hundred yards and get this sighted in. But as of right now, with 25 yards, I've had no issues with it. I am on target every single time I go up and get that sight picture, and I'm very happy with it. So guys, take it for what it's worth. I personally really like this optic. I would recommend it. Um, this one they did not send me. This one I purchased with my own money, so I am being a little more, how to put it, um, constructive criticism. I would highly recommend they get rid of this um, for the price that you're paying. It is nice that they give it to you, but it's also, I feel kind of like a gimmick just a little bit. However, the other thing that I do really like, it does have three different modes. It has green, red, and blue for illumination of the crosshairs on the inside of the scope. And I won't show you that. Um, again, it's it's kind of a little gimmick, but for low light situations, it's not too bad. Um, it's not too bad. So guys, like I said, take it for what it's worth. I like it, I would recommend it. I'll put the link for it in the description. And like I said in the video, my bad, I didn't have the accurate information. It is $160 um, right now on the North Tac website. So if you guys are interested, especially with the holidays, or if you know anybody who is interested in your family, this would be an awesome, awesome gift for them. Um, and it wouldn't break the bank if you are looking for an optic for somebody, or even for yourself. It won't break the bank. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And the reason being, we're gonna have a bunch of awesome reviews coming up with a bunch more products from this awesome sponsor. So once again, thank you guys for watching and I wanna give a big shout out to my sponsor, North Tech and Trinity Force. You guys are awesome. Go check out their websites. Both their websites are linked in the description below. Go give them some love. Go check out their accessories. They're both growing companies so they're not gonna have a ton of stuff yet, but a little birdie told me that they're gonna be releasing some sweet stuff here pretty soon. So keep an eye out for it. Put this video in your favorites. Come back, check out those links again, see what they come out with. This has been Mr. Fizz, guys. I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good one, and be safe out there.